I'm in central Washington today, so we can take a look at some volcanoes. But there aren't active volcanoes in mainland America, right? Yep, there actually are. We are standing in Washington state here along a chain of volcanoes that runs roughly 800 miles or about 1300 kilometers from Southern British Columbia, Canada, all the way down to Northern California. If we could take a view from space, we would see that we are on a line called the Pacific Ring of Fire. And this is a predictable pattern of volcanism and earthquake activity that is the result of plate tectonics. These volcanoes are found here because of what's called a subduction zone. And that's all thanks to plate collisions happening right now, just a little west of us off the coast of Western North America. Now I'd say that's worth hiking up a mountain for, so let's take a closer look. Hey, just a real quick message from me, Heather, the host here at Let's Go Geo. Actually, I am host, videographer, photographer, editor, creator, all that stuff. This channel is run solely by me and I started it because I do love geology and all things related to the topic and I love teaching and I thought it would be a great way to bring to people that in the field experience but digitally so Let's Go Geo was born. The project's going well but I have a lot of great other ideas so if you want to help me out support me and help the project move along you can find me on Patreon and you can become a fan there as well as get access to exclusive content. So head over to Patreon. Otherwise, let's get back to today's topic. There we have it. One of the first Cascade Volcanic Views today. Let's make sure that's in. That is Mount Rainier. That is one of the biggest. That is the tallest. It is over 14,000 feet. A close second would be Mount Shasta, which is also over 14,000 feet. I actually see some little peaking of the volcanoes over there. So if we get a little higher, I think we'll be able to see some more of these Cascade Range volcanoes. So let's keep going. There are over 20 of these volcanoes in the Cascade Range. And there's thousands of other volcanic vents and volcanic related features. Now, they all have their own personalities. Rainier and Shasta being some of the tallest. Mount Adams is a pretty big volcano. Uh, St. Helens is very active. The Newberry and Medicine Lakes volcanoes, which are big shield volcanoes, very broad. All right, there we go. Another Cascade Range volcano. That is Mount Adams. That is uh, over 12,000 feet tall and also covered with glaciers. Pretty cool to see. Um, if we, so that is to the south of us right now. If we were to continue south and kind of head down into Oregon, the other Cascade volcanoes we could run into include Mount Hood and Three Sisters, the Newberry Volcano. We could go all down through to California and then we would find uh, Shasta, which is also over 14,000 feet, and Mount Lassen, which even erupted in the 1900s. Um, but I think we're just going to head up a little higher still and we'll find some better views, hopefully, of maybe some more Cascade Volcanoes. So let's go. All right, so it's a little hazy today, but if you look right in that saddle there, you see a peak sticking up. That's actually Mount Hood to the south of us. It's kind of a pyramidal shape. It's the one I said looks a little bit like the Grinch's Mount Crumpet if you get it from the right angle. That is a volcano located in Oregon. All right, guys, I do see St. Helens. We found it. We've got some decent weather. The bugs are in and out of, of bothering me, but oh, there it is, Mount St. Helens. So if I were standing here in 1980 when it erupted, pretty much probably be dead because the ash plume and all the material came this way. There's again, there's pumice just covering the ground here. All right, see if we get a clearing here and there's a much better view of Mount Rainier. This is actually a really cool view in person. It's amazing looking. Mount Rainier is to the north of us right now. If we would continue to the north, we would discover some more volcanoes in the Cascade Range. That includes Glacier Peak, which we talked about. That's our Decite volcano and Mount Baker near the Canadian border and then on into Canada. There's more volcanoes, Mount Meager, uh, Garibaldi, and some of the other 
Canadian cascade of volcanoes. Uh, there's different types of eruptions and different chemistry that has occurred in the history of each volcano. Volcanoes go through different eruptive phases. So sometimes they're a little more active and sometimes they're kind of quiet. In the last 200 years, there have been eruptions at Lassen and Shasta in California, Hood in Oregon, Mount St. Helens, of course, as well as Baker, Mount Baker, and Glacier Peak in Washington State, and even Mount Rainier. If you'd like to learn more about Mount Rainier, check out my video all on Mount Rainier. I did a very in-depth video. We talked about why the Lahars are such a huge risk factor and why Tacoma is in the line of fire. So geologists actually monitor the Cascade volcanoes pretty heavily, especially after the Mount St. Helens 1980 eruption. They use some pretty cool technology to monitor these volcanoes. This includes monitoring the movement of magma and the earthquakes, as well as those lahars. Based upon the eruptive history and the distance to population centers, they periodically put out these assessments on the risk of the volcanoes and they rate them. In 2018, they did an assessment and they designated nine of the volcanoes in Washington and Oregon as a rating of either high or very high. And those volcanoes include Crater Lake, Glacier Peak, Mount Baker, Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, the Newberry, and Three Sisters volcanoes, as well as Mount Adam. I hope you enjoyed today's look at the Cascade Range. We will be talking more about other Cascade volcanoes here, so I hope you will join me on the next adventure. And yeah, if you'd like to support the channel as I build this virtual Let's Go Geo project, then head on over to Patreon and you can become a patron. I have some behind scenes and exclusive content that I can share there. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next adventure.